For what purpose does the gentlewoman from Michigan seek recognition? Mr. Chair, I rise to offer my amendment number 14 to H.R. 21. The clerk will designate the amendment. Amendment number 14, printed in the congressional record, offered by Ms. Talib of Michigan. The gentlewoman from Michigan is recognized for five minutes on the amendment. Mr. Chair, Big Oil is sitting on 9,000 approved unused drilling permits on federal lands. Folks are lying to you when they say we need more permits and more drilling. My amendment is simple. It lowers the permissible increase in federal lands available for drilling from 10% to 0.1%. What we really need, Mr. Chair, are windfall profit taxes on big oil so that they stop price gouging our residents at the pump. So again, I urge my colleagues to please support me on this amendment, and I yield back. The gentlewoman from Michigan yields back her time. For what purpose does the gentleman from North Dakota seek recognition? Mr. Chair, I rise in opposition to the Jones amendment. Gentleman recognized for five minutes in opposition to the amendment. Mr. Chair, H.R. 21 is about strengthening the SPR by requiring any non-emergency use to be accompanied by a plan to produce American resources. By lowering the number from 10% to 0.1%, you essentially defeat the whole purpose of introducing the bill. To be quite frank, it wouldn't be worth the paper we're using to put it in front of, the, in front of Congress at this point in time. And we should have a conversation about this because at any point in time, we, we are going to blame whether it's an invasion in the Ukraine, our big oil, our small oil, our gas stations, our American consumers, our climate, our crisis, or all of those different things. But the reality of this conversation in the Strategic Petroleum Reserve, which is at the lowest rate it's been since 1983, putting us at dangerous supply risk side uh, risks if any kind of weather event happens in the chair's home state of Texas or Florida or the Gulf, where we really have these types of issues. But the reality to this entire conversation is that prior to the uh, election of President Biden as president, the oil and gas production onshore and offshore in the United States had made us less vulnerable to foreign interference than any other time in our current history. And since this administration has been in place, we have relied more and more on outside oil and become subject to the same crises and problems that we witnessed in the 80s and the 90s and until we discovered shale in places like North Dakota. This amendment guts the entire purpose of the bill and that the, while that's the intent of the amendment, I would strongly urge a no vote and I would yield back. Jim Bank from North Dakota yields back his time. The questions on the amendment offered by the gentlewoman from Michigan, those in favor will say aye. 